Hello, everybody. Welcome to this is episode two of Type Ins Worth Playing. It's been a while since I did one of these. I just didn't have. I just had a lot of stuff on my plate. And I didn't have the, uh, the opportunity to do it. But this is my second one. I decided to do something on a different system. This is a system that I did not have as a kid, but I recently discovered this game just by accident, actually. Uh, it's called Firebug, and it was written by uh, uh, Carl Peacock and Tom Hudson. And it was published in Analog Magazine, which was a Atari-based magazine. It was one of the earliest issues. I think it was I I issue 10, I believe it was. It was in 83, early 83. And I think it was made February, March of 83, something like that, I believe. Well, anyway, uh, the game is basically a sort of a shooter, in a way. And let's get this thing on the go. Now, you see these things down here? That's energy. This is a bomb. As you can see. You gotta keep away. Keep away from the bomb, see my These are enemies here. Oh crap. Anyway. I got three bugs left. Now the energy can work in your favor because it actually if if you run out of energy like once you shoot things, because shooting can actually run run your energy meter down. However, if you go get too greedy, the energy can actually kill you as well. So don't try to only use the energy sparingly. The graphics aren't necessarily the best, but... This is actually a pretty good game for a tape-in. I try not to let the energy out. Unless I really have to. Oh crap. Alright, I'm only down to one bug. Yeah, it was just too concentrating on keeping the energy contained. It's basically a maze shooter, essentially. Oh crap. Alright, I'm dead. Oh, oh, I still got one left. Oh. Oh, crap. Now you can you can destroy the bugs the bombs as well with with your sh by shooting them. As you can tell. Alright, that wasn't a good run. I'll admit that. As you can tell, the once you start a new game, the, the color palette changes quite a lot in this game. At first, the game starts out a little bit boring, to be honest, but it gets better with, once you get a lot, once you get into a lot of enemies and stuff. Now, the energy cannot be shot or killed. It's pretty much indestructible. But, like I said, the, en the energy can kill you too if you get too greedy and try to replenish your energy. When, when, especially if you try to replenish your energy when you're, you're on a full tank of energy. I'll show you the example here. What you gotta do is you gotta, you can't shoot it. You don't shoot the energy, what you gotta do is. However, if you, if you do it on a full tank, for example, the energy will actually take you, will actually kill you instead. So, you gotta stay away from the energy. That's why you should contain the energy as, as unless you really need it. And the bombs are 
Yeah, it kind of reminds me almost in a way. With the way the game is designed, sort of like a shoot 'em up. Not not a puzzle game, but like a sh almost like a shoot 'em up version of Boulder Dash in the sense in that sense, like like you're going through the the caves, but unlike Boulder Dash, you can't kill the enemies unless you like kill them a certain way. But you can't shoot at them, obviously. Yeah, I like this game. As you can tell, I'm not the best when it comes to playing it, but... Is it the best type I've ever played? Eh, not really, but it's probably the best type that I've seen on the Atari so far. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll give it a, I'll give it a solid 7, uh, for, for, by typing standards, anyway. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good game. Um, I like it. I don't think I've ever made it past level 1, to be honest, to be honest, but I quite enjoyed the game, playing the game, though. I'm crap at it, but... <laughs> the thing is, though, if you enjoy a game, it doesn't matter if you... You suck at it, you know? Well, anyway, uh, take care. Until the next time.